friends and welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here and we are here on, oh my gosh, episode 13 of the Summer Cut series. We are actually nearing the end of summer. I don't know how that's happened, but if you guys have enjoyed the series so far, it is coming close to an end. So be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see this continue into maybe a little something else, another series here let me know. Now for today's episode, we're going to dive into something you guys have been asking me about throughout this entire series. We're going to be talking today about metabolism. And in particular, we are going to be discussing the Lumen. I don't know if you guys have heard of this device, but this has been kind of trendy for a while now. I've seen a lot of different people discuss this device. And this device is somewhat sexy advertised as being able to hack your metabolism. So you guys know how I do on this channel. This is gonna be a little bit of a vlog and a dietitian talk because I am gonna give you guys my honest opinions on this device, how I think it works, if I think you guys could benefit from it, advantages and disadvantages, I am gonna go through the whole thing with you guys. Today's video, I am partnering with Lumen, but wait, 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 before you, before you make any assumptions, I've been using this actually since April, I wanna say, April or May, they sent it to me. Been using it a long time. Lumen was very open and willing to let me film and do this review with my honest thoughts. They are well aware I am gonna give my honest opinion advantages and disadvantages and they're actually not even reviewing this video before it goes live maybe some of you guys don't realize that but just to know with a lot of sponsored videos most companies you work with will want to review the content before you post it and before they pay you and lumen was like go ahead girl we know you're a dietitian we want to hear your honest review and have at it so i hope that helps you guys i always give honest reviews anyways otherwise i wouldn't choose to work with a company. Hope that makes sense. But regardless, I think you guys are gonna quite enjoy today's video. We have a lot to talk about. I do wanna mention I will have a discount code available for you guys, that is Kara30, and that will give you $30 off if you are interested in using the Lumen once you watch this entire video and get an idea if you think you would like using it. I'll have all those details down in the description box below. Let's start with what the Lumen is if you haven't heard of it. This is a device to essentially help you figure out what fuel source you are burning. So targeted as being able to hack your metabolism by breathing into this device, it gives you a readout on a number scale and lets you know if you're burning fuel source wise, whether it's carbohydrates or fat. It's kind of like a breathalyzer, if you will, if you were to have to do that to test alcohol, kind of like a similar experience. You have to do a couple breathing exercises into the unit in order to get your readout. These types of devices have been around for a while in a clinical setting, in a much bigger type scenario of how to actually measure your carbon dioxide levels, which is what tells you if you're burning fat or carbs. So essentially what this is gonna give you is your respiratory exchange ratio or your RER. So as I said, these have been used clinically for a very long time, but Lumen came out with something very small, it's digital, it's easy to carry on your person and you can track it yourself without having to go into a clinic or a hospital to get that information. When I got this, the first thing it reminded me of is when I was in grad school, actually, which was a long time ago, there was something called a, a med gem, which actually measures your indirect calorimetry and tells you what your resting metabolic rate was. And it kind of reminds me of this because it was a smaller device. It was handheld that you breathed into. So I'm, I'm impressed that they came out with something like this because you actually haven't seen something available to us as consumers that you could purchase to better understand your metabolism. Is you need to have Wi-Fi because you pair this device with your smartphone, okay? So it's actually a really easy you pair it, it's, it's really that simple. It's not complicated. You pair this device with your phone, it's super easy, and you download the Lumen app, which the Lumen app is really kind of a superstar in all this, I'll be honest, between the device, but also what the app features. Once you get logged into the app, what you do is you actually select what your goals are. So you may be thinking if someone's looking to hack their metabolism, they're just looking to lose weight. Absolutely not, this can actually be used for a ton of 
different purposes. But you have the option to kind of select what your personal goals are. You can select whether you're looking to focus on metabolism, whether you're looking at fitness performance, or whether you're looking at some weight loss goals. So you can kind of alter this a bit within the app, which is a nice feature. The fact that it is very individualized within this app, literally based on you, what you're breathing into this guy, and what data that you're inputting. Personally, don't like to use apps if they're complicated or they don't work well, or they're just not user-friendly, and this app was very easy to work with. There is a little bit of setup when you first get logged into the app, because what you need to do is basically get the breathing. We'll take you through a few different times of getting the breathing right, an effort to make sure that it's measuring accurately. But I found that that was still relatively easy. I actually found that I'm not a very deep breather, so it did take me a couple times to ensure that I was getting a nice big deep inhale and exhale, but again, very simple to get set up once you have it squared away with the breathing, making sure you know how to do the breathing techniques. I am gonna take you through my day today with how I use the Lumen, how it helps me, and we'll get into the nitty gritty of if this can hack your metabolism or not. So the first thing that I do when I get up, usually within 30 minutes, is take your first breath in the Lumen to get your morning score. So what I found most helpful for me is I leave the Lumen right next to my little table in the living room that way. That's where I always go first thing in the morning, so it's an easy thing for me to remember to get up take my measurement and start my day. So it's been a few hours since I took my morning measurement. I have had a couple meals today and I'm about to go work out. So you can do measurements throughout the day as much as you want or as little as you want. It's really about entering more data. You'll get more data back. So for today, I am gonna do my measurements um, after I eat and before I work out, after I work out, all that stuff. So I'm gonna do a measurement right now, see what I'm reading, assess if I'm gonna eat anything before I go to the gym. Okay, so we're gonna take a measurement. So you've got all these different options for when you're actually gonna enter your measurement, which is kind of nice. So we're gonna do this before exercise. No, we're gonna do this after eating. Yep, because I won't be working out for like an hour. So we'll do this after eating to see where I'm at. I was a five this morning, so your girl was burning her carbs, which is totally fine. But that's where I was at this morning, so be interested to see where I'm at right now. Haven't really done much today. I've just kind of been sitting around relaxing, doing a few things, so I wouldn't, I have to actually turn this on. <laughs> that's why. You had to be, no, I'm sorry. You actually have to turn the lumen on if you're gonna use it, you guys. It's a pro tip for you. Let's go. usually has you do two breaths. I had the sound off, but I just turned it back on. I usually don't need the sound on because I don't need the prompts, but there is a voice option on here as well. One. That kind of makes sense because um, now I'm burning both carbs and fat. It gave me a number three. Um, like I said, I was a five this morning, but I haven't ate a lot today. I also haven't done a ton. I've just kind of been sitting around, but um, nutrition wise, I haven't had a ton yet in my body. So it makes sense that things are kind of now burning a little bit of carbs and fat. Kind of cool. Honesty time. I haven't been to my gym crunch fitness in like two weeks. I've been working out though. It's been two weeks. I feel like it's been, been two, weeks. two weeks. I think so. Oh my God. I've been working out at home and then I went and I kind of took like a weekish, not a full week, but I took a week off, visited with my family, which was so much fun. So kind of getting back into the grind over here, getting back into the gym today. We're going to hit up some legs. Got my fanny pack with me. Got my goodies in it. Got my lumen in here. So easy, convenient to go with you. But first, we're going to do what also helps work on your metabolism, and that is lift some weights, my friends. So it makes total sense that I blew a one in terms of the 
um, fat burn mode. I am on a one, which means I'm predominantly burning fat right now. I said to Jason, that makes sense for me because it's a little bit in the afternoon right now. I just got done 45 minutes of lifting and I haven't eaten a lot of carbs today. I've had mostly protein. So I've kind of seen from where I woke up, I was burning carbs, burning a little bit less carbs. Now I am in fat burning mode. So I like that the app too also gives you information. There's a lot of stuff in this app that's really very helpful but it just gives you some insight here you've depleted your carb store so once I eat carbs um, I'm not gonna convert those into fat obviously it's gonna go into usage whether it's um, using it for energy or storing it as glycogen in my body so how are you gonna basically when you get home like when you eat are you gonna have some carbs Definitely. to make up for that correct now that I know this and especially since I just worked out too, did a good lift I'm gonna make sure I get like a higher carb meal post lift to kind of refuel my body so very cool now heading into the vitamin shop time to get some supplements how we do a mukbang Look big. Post-workout meal I've got going on is swordfish. If you didn't know, swordfish is the only fish. Well, it's not. I like all fish, but if you haven't tried swordfish, you really should. It's nice and like thick and meaty. It's like steaky almost, but steak-like and it's tender. a buttery tasty, yes. like naturally buttery. buttery tasting. Love that. I've got a big thing of jasmine rice here, full cup with some roasted carrots, some local organic tomatoes and some coconut oil on top. So this has been one of my favorite meals lately. Great post-workout type meal. So I'm gonna chat with you while I try to eat. We'll see how this goes. I do need to get some fish in my mouth. Mm. Air fried for 10 to 12 minutes. Doesn't need anything else on it. It's just perfection. I do encourage whole grains, but I love jasmine rice. It just digests so nicely for me and it just mm, pairs so good with all the foods. Am I right? I think I'm right. So I may talk a little bit with my mouth open. I do want to back up a little bit because I kind of forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, just in general, what is metabolism? Sometimes I forget to go over the basics with you guys. So metabolism encompasses basically all the chemical processes going on within our body in effort to keep us alive. What keeps our organs going, things like breathing and digestion are all part of your metabolism. So when we think in the context of, you know, you hear people say, has your metabolism changed? Um, I got that question not long ago. Um, when we think about energy metabolism, energy metabolism specifically relates to when you are eating nutrients, right? Regardless of what kind of nutrients they are, even if they are from alcohol, the process of energy metabolism is how we get the ATP from the nutrients in effort to use them within our body. So there are different metabolic functions that go on within our body, but I think a lot of times we just think of it in regards to weight loss and weight gain. And that's not necessarily true. It's kind of a whole body approach. It's kind of thinking about your overall health, right? So even if you're not someone who's focusing on losing weight, gaining weight, maintaining, throw the weight out the door, understanding your metabolism a bit better can be very advantageous in terms of your health and kind of understanding where your health's at or how you may respond to different things. So let me get a bite of food in my mouth. Dang, this is good. Mm. I read a study the other day. I didn't read the actual study, let me be honest. It was just kind of a, just a quick glimpse at, at the study in a newsfeed article, but it was talking about studying metabolism. They did a big study that really kind of showed between the ages of 20 to 60, your metabolism doesn't necessarily slow down like we all like to claim it does. Um, there wasn't really any scientific evidence that backed that they more so found it's in relation to the things that we do or maybe don't do that can alter our metabolism, which you know is quite interesting because one of you guys asked me on the video where I discussed my journey in terms of my health journey the past 10 years, where I'm at with fitness and food and all that, you know, someone asked like, do I feel like my metabolism slowed? And I just didn't feel like I could answer that question because so much 
of what I do in terms of my lifestyle has changed. I eat more than I've ever ate. I train harder. I train more consistent, consistently. I lift weights now versus doing too much cardio. There is a level of too much, right? All these things can alter your metabolism. So if I had to answer that question, honestly, I feel like I didn't capitalize on my metabolism in my 20s. In my 30s, I probably have the best metabolism yet because I take care of my entire body in terms of the workouts, the nourishment, and also stress management and sleep. All big priorities for me, just as important as anything else, any of these other components. It's not about just getting smaller. So I think it's important to think about all these things when you're thinking about your own metabolism and if you should care or not. You know, I think a lot of us maybe don't really think about it in that context. In regards to food and if certain foods are more metabolic than others, I think when you see certain like companies advertise that certain foods will help your metabolism. It's advertising for the most part. There is no set food that's gonna necessarily boost your metabolism. So there are some studies that do indicate things like caffeine, black coffee, energy drinks, uh, green tea, for instance, can have some duration where it does help enhance the energy burn. So it's not to say that there aren't certain things you could implement where you may get more of a caloric burn after consuming them, but I hate for you guys to go down that rabbit hole. Honestly, I think it is important the foods that we are eating. I think it does make a difference if you're eating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins versus just eating a bunch of refined sugar and sodas and no fruits and veggies. Do I think that'll make a difference in your metabolism? I do in regards to when we go back to thinking about our cell functions and metabolism is directly correlated with how our cells function, how those mitochondria function within our cells, how our cells repair themselves, how is our digestion, how is our breathing, all these things I do think can be negatively or positively impacted by the foods that we eat. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there to think more bigger picture. In regards to the Lumen app, one thing I do want to mention that that is a big component of the Lumen in the app because they talk about metabolic flexibility and how to to achieve that, part of it is within the app, they do have um, a nutrition plan and they give you nutrition recommendations. So I'll be honest, I haven't followed the nutrition plan at all since I've been using the Lumen. For instance, the nutrition plan they've got for me today has me at 105 carbs, 102 grams of fat, and 118 grams of protein. Um, for me personally, I don't do well with that much fat. I'm relatively around 115 pounds 102 grams of fat does not make me feel good and i have had genetic testing done i did a video a while back that did show for me and my genes i do best and respond best with higher carbs not necessarily lower fat but like moderate to you know normal fat grams so 102 grams of fat is way too much for me so that is one thing with their nutritional plans i've noticed its recommendations have always been a bit on the high, high fat side. So for me personally, I just don't follow that because I know that's not what works best for me. However, I do think for some people, their nutrition plans in here may be helpful. It's something you could certainly try out. And I will say the nutrition plans in here, they change on a daily basis. So based on the information that you put in here, it's gonna generate different nutrition plans. It's gonna be based on the data that you put in from the night before. So based on how many carbohydrates you ate, how much sleep you got, how much exercise you got, how many steps you got, it tracks all of that. And then when you do your morning um, measurement, it, that's when it generates your nutrition plan. And I do like it gives explanations too, like it says why this plan, your body is using mostly carbs, Remember this morning, I was five, lots of carbon dioxide. I was breathing, I was utilizing carbs. So they said limiting my carbs will help shift, limiting my carbs will help shift my body to a state of fat burn. True. We've added some carbs to your plan so that you can perform though at the best during your workout today. So 
I don't, I don't not like this feature. I think it's a good feature, but I would say use educated decisions and kind of monitor your own body and how you respond if you do choose to use the nutrition plan component. Um, one thing I do really like about it though that I have used, once you click into um, the nutrition plan, it gives you lots of other options. There's so much information in here. So it goes into um, more information on how to track, what micronutrients are, what macronutrients are, how to log your food, um, and then it also gives you sample recipes, which I love too. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So within the Lumen app, you can go to tools and it says looking for inspiration. Tap to find meals that fit your daily plan. So it not only gives you kind of a set daily plan that you can follow, but then it also goes through and actually gives you all kinds of recipes and meal options for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and for snacks. I love this and I have used this even though I don't follow their exact guidelines. As you guys know, I'm working with Coach Brian Devins, so I'm following his recommendations, which I've been doing this kind of stuff long enough. I know it works best for my body, but I love that in here it gives you these super easy options for different meals to incorporate. Um, even though I'm a foodie, I'm someone that gets kind of stuck in a rut with eating the same foods all the time. You guys probably see that with my days of eating. It gives you those options based on your individual nutrition plan that it comes up with. And I hear that from clients a lot. Um, they get bored, they get sick of their meals. So I like that this gives you these options. It's just sometimes, even though there's simple meals in here, it's very helpful to have some other ideas. So while I don't think specific foods are gonna change your metabolism, I do think being cognizant and mindful of what you're eating and how that responds within your body is gonna make a difference in your health at the end of the day. Ways that you can alter your metabolism though. Number one, figuring out the data. Like using this data, I think is super helpful to better understand your body, how you respond to different meals, different workouts, different periods of time, such as fasting through the night when you're sleeping and being able to use that to maybe be more mindful or make some modifications within your day. The main thing that I tell people when they come to me to work with me on their metabolism, fish in my throat. The number one thing that I tell people when they want to learn more about working on their metabolism and enhancing it is really focusing on the movement. We know that more muscle cells versus fat cells are more metabolic. They require more energy. So increasing your muscle mass is such an important goal. It's some, something to strive for if you've never really thought about that as a goal, working on your muscle and just being more overall active. The recommendation for activity for movement um, is 150 minutes a week, which if you break that up within seven days, ends up being like a little over 20 minutes a day, which sounds relatively easy when you break it up like that, but I know for me, I'm genuinely very sedentary during a work week. So for me to make sure I'm focusing on those activity levels, just being active within that, maybe even getting in some additional aerobic activity, walking, cycling, jogging, things like that, as well as weightlifting, those, that's really where you can enhance your metabolism and really make some changes. It's important to keep all that in mind when you guys are trying to focus on ways to kind of enhance your metabolism and also not get so bogged down in it either as we age to be like, oh yeah, I just have a poor metabolism, now it's slowing down. Is it slowing down or are there things that we could be doing more of to enhance it? Just got back from a really intense bike ride, 10 miles, it felt really good. Got my score for that. I am gonna share with you guys a screenshot um, of my full day's worth of measurements that I got from the Lumen because I will say I don't always do this many. I more so just wanted to show you the application of it. For me, I always try to get the morning in the nighttime measurement or depending on what I'm doing with workouts, I'll grab them around like my lifting session. But today I kind of went above and beyond just to show you how much data you truly can capture. So I do want to jump into more of the nitty gritty of who I think this is good for and some more pros and cons. 
So who I don't think this is good for? Um, first of all, I definitely think this would not be great or recommended. I would not recommend this for anyone who has struggled with an eating disorder, either currently or even if you're in an early recovery stage. I just think focusing on something like this, it is very numbers based, it is very data based information that you are getting. You need to be the type of person who can separate yourself from numbers upsetting you versus capturing data and being able to track things and being able to use it to your advantage depending on what your goals may be. But if you're someone that you know steps on the scale and gets easily bothered and ruins your day the same could very well be true using the lumen if you blow a five showing you're burning carbs and that could make you upset you're not burning fat so i feel like if you're someone that just struggles with that kind of stuff i would not recommend this for you however if you're like myself and you're kind of like a science geek and you like collecting data about your own body and kind of using it for different goals i think this would be great for you i actually think back to when i was marathon training i'd love to again someday but if i had this device it would have been so super helpful now i've seen some dietitians kind of critique the lumen like uh, you don't need to worry about what fat, what fuel source you're currently burning. And you know what, that may be true for some people, but depending on your goals, knowing what fuel source you are using, whether it be fats or carbs, can be so advantageous, especially for my athletes out there. So for someone like myself who was endurance running, training for marathons, it was critical for me to ensure that my glycogen stores were full especially going out for those longer training runs. So for me to make sure that my liver glycogen, that my muscle glycogen was nice and full, that device would have helped me out prior to going prior to going into training runs or marathons and things like that to make sure I'm not in a fat burning state. That is not where you want to be for great performance, right? So I think that's also why, and super cool, you guys know I'm a UFC fan, Lumen has collaborated with UFC. They're like working with them, you got Jorier using it, you've got the athletes using it for their training camps to really focus on their nutrition, which is so key in any kind of mixed martial arts. But in most sports, right? Like any of my athletes out there, regardless of what you're doing, I think this can be such a great tool for you to better learn your body. Now there is something that the Lumen does that I didn't get to share with you guys today, but it creates a flex score for you. So after four weeks of inputting data, it gives you this flex score that basically tells you like how good you are at shifting between fat burning mode and carbohydrate burning mode. But you'll get that a better result based on how consistent you are with the data you put in, but that result can be really helpful because it can just let you know each person individually is gonna be maybe a little bit better than the other at shifting in and out of the carb burning mode versus fat burning mode. And you'll even see with my numbers today, I kind of go back and forth a little bit, right? Depending on if I ate and if I trained or what activity I did, you'll see I was burning fat after a lift session, but after a bike ride, I was still burning carbs. So it's just kind of cool information to better learn yourself. And I think it's really still a good tool regardless of what your goals are. So interestingly enough, Jason also tried out the Lumen the same time as me. He also got one and I like to bring him up because he always has such different goals than I feel like what some of my audience members do. Um, he actually was trying to gain weight and ensure he didn't lose weight. And when he was getting his Lumen scores at nighttime, he was blowing a one, like he was burning fat nighttime before bed. And it was helpful for him because it made a lot of sense when he was unfortunately going through an acute stressful time medically it was giving him the information that like something's going on that i'm very metabolically active right now and it made sense that he was losing weight so knowing that what jason did was adapt to that and he tried to eat more food than he was already eating had he have not have been capturing that data he would have thought everything was all good in the hood but it gave him that extra data point so for him to help maintain weight and put weight back on it was a helpful tool kind of in the reverse side of things if you're not focused on weight loss do i think the lumen or the app actually hacks your metabolism or you can hack your metabolism because of this i wouldn't go that far but i will say it gives you so much more information captured in one 
place information you wouldn't have had previously that I do think it can help you be more mindful with the choices that you're making and for myself that's always really important I'm always really kind of like motivated and fired up by the data you know whether it's like using my like tracking watch or other things to give me information on how active I am and how good I'm sleeping all the things and I really love that the app does it all in one place it just keeps me more mindful and it kind of motivates me to work a little harder and be more cognizant of my workouts and my meal timing and just being a bit more strategic with it all. So if you're somewhat like myself, you may really enjoy it for that aspect. One thing I would love to see Lumen do differently that's I wouldn't say a downside, but the one thing I think it's missing is I wish you could track your meals right in that app, or I wish they would like collaborate with my fitness pal or something so that the two spoke to each other. While it does have you enter in each morning how many carbs you ate the day before, I think it'd be really cool if all that data was captured in that one app, like somehow speaking to each other or just all captured in one because I think it would just make the information that much more robust. Some of you may question like, how do you even know this is accurate or not? Um, you will see Lumen has done a few different clinical studies to compare this to what's used in a clinical setting when you measure RER and it was found to be extremely accurate. Um, I will say that it did look like some of the people involved in the studies are partnered with Lumen, so that could be a bit conflicting. I would love to see future studies being done for it to really become more of a validated tool in the field, but I really do think this could be a helpful tool for many people. And while the meal plan, nutrition plan portion of it isn't something I personally use on a daily basis, I do see where that could be helpful for some of you guys who maybe aren't working with a dietitian or with a coach to kind of figure out what to eat or how to adapt based on your current state. So I do think that that is a nice feature in there, even though that's something I'm not gonna use myself. And it has to be said that you do have to be somewhat diligent about being consistent with your data in actually entering it. Now you don't have to do seven to eight times like I did today, but in effort to get the most use out of it, you wanna make sure you're consistent. I would say at least with your morning measurement and your nighttime measurement, I think that's the easiest starting out and will give you a good idea of how things are going like first thing in the morning versus before you go to bed. So it does require a level of dedication, which may be a downside if you're someone that's forgetful with stuff like that. Like I said, for me, it was easiest to place it in a spot where I know I sit every morning where I kind of like start to wake up and do my thing and it by my couch that's where I start my morning and that's where I end my evenings so it's really easy for me to remember to do it because it's right there so um, not a problem for me but something you need to kind of be aware of if you would use it or not because you want to make sure it's worth the money I do want to mention again for any of you guys who are interested in trying out the lumen I do have a discount code so Kara 30 will get you $30 off of the lumen and I will have all that information for you down in the description box below the Lumen is something that I do continue to plan on using while I am continuing through the rest of my cut series here and I'm hoping to use it more if I do end up getting myself to train for like another, I won't say a marathon, but a half marathon because I just feel like that is going to give me such an edge to better understanding my body. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, found it helpful. If you have any other questions below about the Lumen or metabolism in general, I could definitely do more videos diving into to that it's a lot to go over please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below make sure you do hit the like button make sure you're subscribed do all the things before you head on out of here and i'll see you in the next one